Alright, so if you're feeling like fatigue, lack of confidence, hell, motivation, you feel migraines, you feel like your brain is spacing in and out, your words are hard to form sentences, so you know what you're going to say. It's just the sentences kind of like, I don't know, it stagnates. It don't really come out like it's supposed to. And you understand, and you'll be trying to say it, but it just has a, like a problem coming out then you, sir or ma'am, fall under this category. You are low on energy resolve. Yes, you have been depleted and you're not replenishing it fast enough. Meaning that when you sleep, you're not entering a REM state of sleep, of consciousness, so you're not able to heal on an etheric level. There's a multiple reasons for this, all right? It could be A, the amount of processed synthetic foods you eat throughout a day, it could be because you keep fapping and you're not retaining your life force energy. Your uh, your life force energy allows your body to go into like a catabolic state. So you're able to heal internally versus, I'll say, well, kind of you heal internally and externally. But it has to go so within, without. So when you heal on the outside, just know you healed on the inside first, okay? And then another thing that shows it is if you are eating right before you go to bed. If you're eating within like three hours before you go to bed, you are actually cutting the progress of that catabolic state. When you go into the state of healing, you go into the state of where you where you attach to your higher self and you let your body like just do a massive ascension healing. This is when your body goes into like the biggest or the deepest state of healing. So you you are able to flush out all toxins, parasites, you're able to replenish any uh semen that you let up. I know that is when you go into that state, you're gonna be more likely to replenish it versus if you were just having like two, three hours of sleep and you didn't go into the REM state. And you know what I'm talking about because you'll feel rejuvenated versus tired upon waking up. There's a difference. Rejuvenation means you went into a deep healing REM state and um, if you're feeling fatigued, that, that means your body just, it was just too busy flushing out too much chemicals. It didn't really get a chance to heal internally, which is the whole purpose for sleeping because you got to build your resolve. See, you have a certain energy. You are just all electro being, okay? Your protons, electrons, and neutrons. So you're compiled of just like electricity, all right? I know they don't tell us that, but your whole genetic makeup is compiled of electricity. Yes, I know that I said you're like 70% water, but do you know why you're 70% water? Because you can conduct energy better. Your The water is in your body because it conducts. So if you weren't water, you wouldn't be able to conduct energy. So that is a clear indication that you are just a conductor. You just transfer electricity throughout you. Your body is a flow of tunnels. It's just meridians. It's just flowing energy from, inter from every vital point, every meridian point throughout your body. Yes, even up and down your chakras, if you're getting that good REM sleep, okay? So this is why you're not supposed, this is why you're feeling like fatigue. You just feel like uh, you're not healing too. It actually gets in the way of your healing process. So if you feel like your wounds haven't been closing up, like they they like, they like feel like they're still open or they healed quicker before, it's because before you were getting to more of a higher REM state. But as time goes on and you don't really dive into that REM state or you're not uh, providing your body with the minerals or providing with the sustenance so it can enter the REM state, then you will actually, you will, it messes with your life force, which means that it'll cut your lifespan into half. So that's why you want, it's very crucial you want to get in that REM state. If you're waking up fatigued, it's not a good thing. All right, you need to be aware of this now and then you need to do something. So I would recommend, like I said, don't eat at least four hours before you uh, go to sleep. Don't eat when you first wake up either until about noon. That's a big thing. That Eating when you first wake up, it actually cuts in your energy production because your body then has to focus. It's, it's like, it, it's first woke up anyway, right? So it's just new. It still has to waken up to its full self. So that's why when you wake up, you be like zoned out, right? It, it's still coming through. It's like your spiritual self is coming through to your physical self, right? Because you leave this vessel as you sleep. I know you didn't really think of it like that. So when you wake up, you are not supposed to eat anything because your body is still coming into you. If you eat something, you cut, you get in the way of that process. I know, which actually hurts you a lot more than it will ever help you. You feel what I'm talking about. You ever notice like, you know what I'm saying, in high school, you be waking up early and you be tired as shit because you went to sleep late 
And you notice whenever you ain't get that good deep sleep, that you know what I'm saying when I'm talking about that sleep where you passed out snoring, you wake up, you be cranky, your body, you don't want to get up for shit. Your parents, you gotta fight with your mom or 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 parents just to get up, just to go to school. Most times you just find any reason to skip is because you didn't you didn't enter that REM state, so so your body still had to do a massive healing on the inside. They call it a catabolic because it's more internal, but I call it anabolic because it's a pro, it's for you. So yeah, I'm saying. So definitely do this because it can hinder your org field, which will hinder your revital, it will hinder your life force, it will hinder both hemispheres being active. I'm saying if you're not getting that REM state uh, sleep, then chances are both hemispheres of your brain are not, it just decreases the chances of that. It makes you less responsive, it makes you less aware, it makes you less intuitive and less to front face value. You're less, uh, you know, you're not really that much, you know, uh, beneficial you just you know you're just you know it's that lazy person that does the bare minimum work yeah those people tend to not enter that REM state sleep because they are heavily have a body full of process in their mind and you're so depleted you know semen wise and every angle is like like running on zero to where they don't enter the REM state those people those kind of people they don't go into a state of healing because even though they need healing their body still won't go and do the work that REM state is when your body heals on an internal on a metabolic level so you're healing from every cell your cells have to go through a state of healing so you replicate more now if you decrease if you lose more cells than you're replicating then that is another thing is because you're not getting that REM sleep that REM sleep is everything, yo. It's it's the it's the times from like well they say it's the times from like noon to it's like three four a.m. But I feel like it's the time for when you really allow allow your body to go into like its most deepest state of healing. So that's that could be at any time. You can have that during the day. You had to do an afternoon. Like come on, you knew the people who work graveyard shift. Y'all had deeper sleep during. Uh, Y'all had deeper sleep, more more advanced, heavily induced REM state. During the day, sleeping during regular hours when everyone's up and everyone's out doing their thing. Like, I, you know, I've noticed that it could be from any angle. I noticed that in the a.m. when I sleep from like 7 to 12, that would be more my state of REM because I would be knocked out. You wasn't waking me up for shit. If, if you're waking up easily, that means you're not in the REM state. If you're knocked out and it's like they can't wake you up. You remember that one homie that you just could not wake up? That motherfucker in the REM state. He is not coming back. He in a whole nother reality. His his uh his etheric form left his body. That means he's in a when your etheric form leaves your body, you enter a REM state. Now then your body can therefore then do what it needs to do. I know. So y'all ain't know that. So make sure y'all get in the REM state because if not, you ain't healing like you think you are. Alright? So the couple of things I recommend, don't eat before you go to bed. Don't eat when you wake up. Hell, don't drink water too. Water gets in the way of it. Even though it's hard hard for me, water does get in the way of it because your body's still digesting something. You have to go cold turkey. You have to like not eat nothing for it to enter the REM state. If you drink and eat and constantly putting things in your body, your body cannot enter it because it's, it's still acting out jobs. It's still doing, it's still, uh, uh, what, what's it called? You're still uh, telling it to do things. You know what I'm saying? I'll use that term. Whenever you tell tell, tell your body to do something, you utilize, you're utilizing it, it can't enter REM state. So you want to like leave it alone. You want to let it rest. That's the best way to enter REM state is to let it rest. All right? So therefore, you guys know, you know what I'm saying? I've been in the fitness industry for some years, like since I was 16, personal trainer, worked at six different gyms, LA, Lifetime. I'm talking LVC. I'm talking EI. I'm talking Gym Planet Fitness. I'm calling Lower Live Fitness. I'm talking private gyms. I'm talking Gracio. I'm talking different syndicate. But my point is that you acquire information and a lot of people, you know, you just, as you talk and you, you know what I'm saying, communicate with different people, you figure out different things that may work for you. There's, I'm telling you, all aspects of people. People know, people are amazing when they're doing what they love you know what i'm saying people are so amazing so i'm hope hope you guys found this video useful you know what i'm saying if y'all did check love to my cash app all day 24 you know what i'm saying be selfish right now you are massively going through portals right now so it's very best to practice this rim sleep you're gonna level up you're gonna wake up knowing things that you didn't know when you went to bed i promise y'all you're gonna you're gonna be in a whole different vibration mindset and frequency all right so check out my uh, my next video. I'm about to come for y'all. Peace.